Hey, what do you think of that intro, that Levi Coca joke? I wrote it. <laughs> well, good to be here, eh? I, I quit smoking. You ever try to do that? Man, that's a tough thing, huh? Smoking ever since I was a kid. I always remember smoking, you know? Remember one time I was a little kid, I was six or eight or ten or something like that, or four, or some even number? And I was behind a garage. I was sneaking a cigarette back there, sneaking a cigarette behind my garage, and my dad caught me. I'll never forget it. His big head. I may forget it one day, I don't know, but I don't... Re I, I remember it now. You never know what you're going to forget, you know? <laughs> Ravaged by syphilis, you know, in your later years, you might remember nothing. But, uh, you never see a guy ravaged by syphilis anymore, you ever notice it? No excuse for that. His big head came around the corner of the garage there and caught me. There I was, sneaking my cigarette, and he hauled me in. I thought I was in for the strapping of my life, you know? What he did is he pulled out his big cigar. It must have been half the size of my arm, this giant cigar. Stuck it in my mouth, lit it up, made me smoke it all the way through, right to the end. And, uh... That's when I started smoking cigars. So that, uh, that plan didn't work out too good there. Then there was another time I remember, now that I'm thinking about it there. I was behind my garage again. As luck would have it. There I was, smoking a big fat joint back there. Uh, yeah, don't do drugs. <laughs> and uh, my dad's big head showed up again. And he hauled me in. I thought I was in for the strapping of my life, you know? But, uh, injected me with heroin. That's him, right? Do you believe something like that would happen? He was a strict man, I'll tell you that right now. He's strict but fair. Tough but cruel. His toughness was more than offset by his cruelty. Ah, oh, man, but you gotta quit smoking. Hey, otherwise, you're gonna be an old guy. And then unhealthy, sick, and everything like that. Although some guys don't. You ever meet those old guys, no matter what the hell they do to themselves? You know, they still grow old. Be the oldest bastard you ever met in your life, you know? I go, every day I smoke four packs of cigarettes. I drink a bottle of Jack Daniels. And I hit myself in the head with a shovel. Every day. I'd like to die. I can't die. I can't see. One time I put a shotgun in my mouth, blew the hole back in my head out. That's this light ringing in the ears, was that? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, but what the hell, huh? You gotta stay in shape. That's the thing. Now that I quit smoking, can get in shape, work out, and everything like that. I haven't worked out for a, for a, ever. I never worked out. <laughs> now that I, has it been that long? <laughs> I was going to lie to you there, but I decided not to. You ever lie? You ever lie to a guy for no reason at all? Like, usually there's a reason, eh? You want to, you know, protect somebody's feelings or, you know, screw over your buddy Larry or something like that. But you ever lie for no reason? Just all of a sudden a big lie will spill out of your evil head there, you know? You don't even know why, you know? Like a guy come up and you go, hey, you ever see that movie with Meryl Streep and the horse? And then you go, Yes. In the back of you go, what the hell am I lying about over here? I, I stand to gain nothing by this lie. The hell am I thinking back here in my head? But uh, you gotta stay in shape there. Huh? That's what I'm saying, you know? I like sports. I watch any sport on TV, anything at all. The only sports I don't like, you ever see them sports where they'll try to combine two sports together? You know, make up a new sport? You know, they don't even go together? Like, guy will run a hundred yard dash and then, fish. You know that guy? <laughs> Guy's fishing in a creek over there. <laughs> I like game shows, they win a lot of money. Hey, you ever get a lottery ticket? It's a little bit to do with a game show thing. You ever get a lottery ticket there? <laughs> a guy give it to you if it's a gift? That's what I got for Christmas. Guy give me a lottery ticket. And uh, what a stinking gift that is. Huh? <laughs> what the hell's a guy thinking there? I go, here you go. Nothing. <laughs> Merry Christmas, nothing. <laughs> Best of the season to you, Harris. It's, it's nothing. I'm giving it to you. You know, unless it wins, then it's on. But let's face it, you give a guy a lottery ticket, you know, you don't want it to win. You know? <laughs> That's the last thing you want there, you know. You don't want your buddy to be a winner, you want to be a loser like you, you know? What the hell are you thinking? <laughs> 
<laughs> That'd be a nightmare. I imagine that. Give a guy a lottery ticket for Christmas there. You know? Get a call a week later. Hey, Bill, what's happening there? Yeah, I remember that ticket I gave you. 14 million bucks, huh? I guess I finish this joke then. <laughs> I had some more, but you know. <laughs> ah, what are you gonna do, eh? I don't know. Hey, I had one of those weird dreams last night. You ever have one of them dreams where, uh, you know, it's right in the middle of the dream, the best part of the dream, and then you wake up, you know, and there you are back in your stinking life again. <laughs> so you try to fall asleep, you know, re-dream it. Man, that never works there, you know. <laughs> Always end up with some weird mutation of your original dream, you know? I was having this dream last night. I was in a pool with Christy Brinkley, and we were going toward each other, me and Christy Brinkley. And I, well, I woke up and I had a re-dream, and then I uh, ended up shooting pool with David Brinkley. La 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 la. Ah, so what are you gonna do, eh? What are you going to do? That's what I say, you know? Well, I only got 30 seconds, and not all my jokes take way more than that. But, uh, I have nothing to say. Let me tell you this, though. Laughter, my friends, laughter is the best medicine, you know? That's for sure, isn't it? Isn't it? That's for, that's for damn sure. You betcha. Yes, indeedy. Yeah. Unless you're a diabetic. And then... And insulin is the best medicine, you know, you know. Go and finding a coma in front of a Three Stooges movie or something, you know. You know. That's no good. Hey, 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 I'm done. Hey, thanks a lot, folks. Start clapping, hey.